everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Laura and you're watching The Valentines. And today you are joining me from my tiny RV kitchen. Uh, some big changes for my channel. We're moving out of our beautiful bay house and into our RV. For at least the next six months or so, we've just had some family changes and now is the time for us to spend precious time with some of our loved ones who live in different parts of the country. And as you guys know, this channel started, well, you might know if you've been uh, following for a long time, when we first started this channel, we were living full time in our RV, traveling all around the country. So for us, we've done this before. Uh, it wasn't a big leap for us to go back into the RV. Uh, so I'll be filming a lot of videos here from now on. I want to apologize about the background noise. RV air conditioners are very loud. Um, so after the intro of this video, I will include some more voiceover so it's not annoying. So you can watch all the video because this is an awesome video today. Today I'm going to be styling a charcuterie board. I'm hoping it's going to be pretty epic because it is a gift for my cousin's 40th birthday. She's taking the day off of work tomorrow for her birthday and there's going to be lots of people coming by at different times of the day to wish her happy birthday. So I thought a really epic charcuterie board would be something really nice for her. I'm going to be including some homemade elements like some fresh baked bread, some things that I've canned in previous videos, I'll be sure to link those, as well as some homemade spreads. And I will also be just including some store-bought elements, all of which I got from Aldi. So if you're someone who likes Aldi, this is also a great video for you. Uh, so. I was able to find also from Aldi this amazing board. This is only $12 and I'm going to be using it and this is part of the gift too. Uh, so let's get into making some of the homemade elements and then styling this charcuterie board. So here is my beautiful loaf of homemade bread that I pulled out of the oven this morning. Um, it's not the loftiest uh, loaf of bread I've ever made. Um, the RV oven is a lot, it's a little more temperamental. It's different than my convection oven at the house. Um, and I also needed this by hand for about 10 minutes. I usually use my KitchenAid, but you know what? It still turned out pretty good. And I think it's gonna be awesome for this board. So I'm gonna be cutting it up for that. And of course it's made the whole RV smell amazing to have made some bread today. By the way, I do have a whole video about how I make my bread and how I've improved my bread recipe, so I will link that below or somewhere around here so you can check it out. Another homemade element that I'm going to be doing is uh, some lemon balm jelly. Does anyone remember this video? This video is also going to be linked. Uh, it's a beautiful color. Uh, this lemon balm was grown in my garden. I harvested it fresh, went through the whole process of making the jelly. I still had several jars left, um, so this is gonna go on the cutting board as well, and the herbal, beautiful, bright lemon flavor of it is gonna go really well with the other elements that we have. And then here are some dill pickles from last year that I canned. I'm gonna be chopping these up and placing them into a smaller jar. Next up, I'm also gonna be preparing some marinated mushrooms as well as homemade borzen. This coffee cat borzen recipe is so good. Whenever I take it places, people love it. Um, my cousin and her husband had it before, so I had to include it as well. So let me get into showing you how I'm gonna do those today.
Fresh garlic and rosemary combine with equal parts of grapeseed oil and red wine vinegar to make a delicious marinade for these fresh baby portobello mushrooms. Next up, I'm taking one stick of butter with one block of cream cheese, and I'll be adding a large clove of fresh garlic minced very fine, as well as about a quarter to a half cup of Parmesan cheese, depending on your preference. And then I'll be adding some, um, some herb blend to this. This is a homemade blend that I make with marjoram, sage, rosemary, and thyme. That's all it takes for this copycat boars and cheese recipe that people love whenever I bring it to a party. My board is anchored by my lemon balm jelly, the marinated mushrooms, the borzen, and the pickles. I have three cheeses, a smoked gouda, blueberry goat cheese, and a camembert. I've just placed them around and I fanned out the sliced gouda. So next up, I wanted to try my hand at making some salami florets, some salami roses. And it was a little bit tricky. It did take me a few times till I got down uh, the proper technique. And I used a toothpick to secure it and I think it turned out beautiful. I also did like little chimneys of prosciutto and I found these succulents for just about $2 a piece and I thought they would be a beautiful addition to the board. I decided to just do a large pile of olives in the middle because why not? And these are stuffed with blue cheese. Some dried apricots are like a perfect addition of sweetness and a beautiful pop of color. 
chocolate covered almonds spread throughout. Some fan strawberries are so simple to do in a really beautiful touch. Sprigs of fresh rosemary are just a beautiful way to complete it. I'm so happy with how the board turned out and my cousin absolutely loved it. So this is the first time of me doing a video like this, guys. Please comment below and let me know if you want to see more of this types of videos. Otherwise, you know I'm always here for homemade and homegrown videos, especially soap making, canned goods, and meals from scratch. I appreciate you being here. Please subscribe. It's a super easy and free way to support my channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks again.